Hi, Cancer. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. Let's see what's happening for you this week, Cancer. What do the cards want to tell Cancer this week? Oh, gosh. Okay. Magician. Whatever you turn to manifest. It could be something in regards to prosperity, uh, wealth. Um, you could be channeling from the universe, getting some downloads. This card talks about a very powerful man. You know, masculine energy, uh, one that is close to the divine, whether it's the dark or it's the light, close to the spiritual realm. Um, let's see what this is all about. Somebody's trying to use their words wisely, trying to figure out what to say. The magician gov governs um, speaking or speech, um, how to put something together eloquently or you know, um, you know, accurately bright flashes of inspiration. Also, this is about having dreams and trying to make them real. Like what, what do I have to do? You know, um, I heard an energy of desperation, King of Swords. Okay. So somebody is rightfully divining though. Like the King of Swords is, he, he typically wears a purple cloak of royalty and divinity, um, spirituality, uh, you may be getting some knowledge, okay? You have the favor of the lords and the kings. Uh, um, you're the king right under the emperor. So um, you may be uh, embarking on some strategy. This is a lot of masculine energy. This could be even surrounding maybe your sexuality, you know, or, or someone's sexuality. This could be a same-sex relationship too. What's going on here? Nine of Swords. So um, not being able to cope with, dealing with, thinking about something over and over. It is troublesome to you. It's taxing. It's burdensome. It is sitting with your emotions and your thoughts and it's attacking you. It's the restless nights. It's the night worker. It's your shift being off or your sleeping pattern being off or something like that. Um, just um, This could even be pain, physical pain in your body. Uh, this could be pain in your mind. This is um, being overly dramatic or just not being able to cope with. This is replaying an event, a thought, a conversation, something over and over. This is what's keeping you in that place. This is also with the nine of swords here, something dissipating, leaving you, wondering if this is the end. Is this the beginning of the end here? Um, let's see. Six of Swords wanting to express something with the Six of Swords here, wanting to move on in silence, secrecy, secrecy uh, let the headache of a past relationship go, um, make sense of it, be logical. Something is you're not readily able to make, you know, make sense of it. Something may have you in your emotions to the point where you're trying to use logic to rationalize because the six of swords is rationalized a moving on what is this about for cancer king of wands definitely it could be same sex um connection relationship sexual orientation i don't know um someone's trying to rationalize the thoughts that they're having you know um is this real Judgment, yeah, knowing that a decision needs to be made. Someone could be wanting to be absolved of something that they did, forgiveness or forgiveness, or wiping the slate clean. The two of swords, yeah. Um, back to maybe reconciling, reconciliation of the six of swords, two of swords. Somebody cut someone off, cut a loved one off, and they're not sure that they should have done that. A reconciliation, a coming back together is up in the air. 
a decision hasn't been made about it. The, the decision rests with the person who is at ease in their mind, in their heart. And I don't know if that's you, Cancer, or the other person. But whomever is at ease, who's who's not really given a lot of energy to this, the decision to come back together to reconcile, to compromise, to make a plan, a course of action, it rests with them. Yeah, the star card could be an Aquarius. Forgiveness, coming back together, you know, releasing, relinquishing, getting on the, getting on the right path. Letting go of the baggage, you know, baggage from previous relationships. Somebody's like, we, somebody wants to come back together with a particular person. But if this is not same sex, then you both are in king energy, right? So let's think of medieval times. Two kings are at odds or, you know, with one another two kingdoms are at odds with one another how are we going to solve that most times that spells war you know um ego is 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 taking a front seat here you and your person could be in your ego neither one of you wants to concede or give in to the other or make the first move or compromise it has to be some type of adverse or the other side of the energy it has to be masculine, feminine. It doesn't mean it has to be a man and a woman, but it just has to be that energy of yin yang. And we got two yang here, I believe. So neither one of you are letting in, you know, neither one of you giving in. It's just like a, something that's a stalemate. There are no cards of action. Yeah, ten of wands. Um, somebody's on to something great, or somebody's trying to do something big, or do something great, or someone's trying to just maintain. Someone could have been taken for granted in this connection here. Also, it could have been a karmic stuck toxic connection that needs to transform. With the ten of wands, um, it needs to kind of dissipate. Energy never dies; it just transmutes or transforms into something else. Yeah, the three of swords. Somebody took the other for granted because there was another party involved here. There was something else, or someone else, or other people, or communicating with other people, or letting the third party stir up trouble. You know, not you know creating boundaries. Um, someone initiated maybe a third party. Um initiated a third energy also with the three of swords let's see yeah nine with the change here someone's packing up moving either packing up physically moving or trying to move on from you know maybe some lovers back to sexuality you know same sex or someone's tr having thoughts of same sex connection or someone's trying to move away from sex only connections or passionate connection um, someone is trying to, yeah, high honor, um, trying to have something of, of substance or substance or status or something that is real, something that's true, something that is of high honor. Yeah. A gift. Someone could even want to declare their love, profess their love, um, maybe even get engaged or but something's going to be hard work. Somebody's not sure if they're up for it or if they can do it or if they'll get the yes answer. Um, let's see the poverty card it's, it's just really not thinking they're going to get a yes answer because so many petty little details to work out somebody needs like spiritual f f philosophical type of transition it could be somebody who's very materialistic all about work all about themselves someone who's stuck on themselves stuck in their mind Somebody's wanting the privileged lady to hear them out. Could be a main male, somebody who's not their boyfriend or girlfriend. Could be an unexpected message comes in and it leads to a new journey. It could even lead to maybe some of you. It's a lot of kinks to work out in this relationship. 
but it could lead to long-term fulfillment here but it's a lot to work out within this connection somebody could their third party could be same sex so that not, you know that's coming up also so that's what i have for you cancer if it resonates let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section go over to the website and book your own reading there ask a question or two by texting it to the number below you can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy ella coffee link catch me live every tuesday thursday and sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time thank you many blessings to you